A few months ago, I found a store that was filled to the brim with Nintendo plushies, and I decided to buy almost a thousand dollars worth of stuff there. This is the unboxing video, where I went through three bags of plushies, all coming from different Nintendo franchises, and trust me, if you like the last unboxing video, you'll like this one even more. We're getting really close to 50,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe, because the next video we're posting is my full Mario plush collection. Make sure to like the video, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is three bags of Mario plushies. Not really sure what brand this is, but that's not the brand or store that I got these plushies from. They just kind of use these random bags to package their stuff. Before I get into this, it's important to note that not all of these plushies are actually Mario plushies. They're just all Nintendo related, but might as well just call it Mario plushies. You know, why not? I'm a Mario channel. So first, we're going to get into the bag on the very left where you can already see two Bowser Juniors. So let's just kind of get these out really quick. Actually, we're not going to get them all out. We're just going to take them out one by one. So first, we got a Bowser Jr. right here. This is the, uh, I think it's the All-Star Jr., right? Yep, that is an All-Star Bowser Jr plushie. $28. This store was very overpriced. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie about that. Honestly, that's probably how it all added up to $1,000. It was just, everything was really overpriced. It's not like it's a super bad thing. I mean, usually it would be around that price. It's just normally it would be like $20. It wouldn't be $28. And then we got another Bowser Jr. Yes, we got two. I actually already have one of these somewhere in my other room, but I don't really use him, so might as well get more. Wait, that probably actually didn't make sense. But what I will say is that it's good to have stun doubles, no matter if you use them or not, because then if you decide to use use them. It's like, you might as well have some backups in case something happens. You know, I usually buy backups for all my plushies just in case. So, those are the two Bowser Juniors, and next up, we got a Toad. Now, the reason why I got another Toad is because you're about to see why. Alright, now you want to see why I got a new Toad? This is why. Okay, so for those of you who don't follow the fan mail videos that we used to do, basically, whenever Toad would get a letter, he would go absolutely nuts on it. And because of that, he would slam his face into the letters, and the pencil lead just kind of got left on his face. So, yeah, we kind of needed a new one. I don't know if we're actually going to replace it, but now that I look at it, they look almost identical, so I probably could replace it. I don't know, this was meant as a stunt double, but I probably could replace the main one, who knows. Alright, so that's Toad, and now we're gonna move on to Donkey Kong, with a barrel in his hand, whoa. I didn't know this barrel was actually hollow. Wait, I think it's supposed to be flipped, hold on. There we go, so he's supposed to hold it like this, and I guess you could actually put something inside the barrel. Which, next up, we have this squid blooper plushie. I think it's called blooper, right? So can I, like, fit him in here? <laughs> there we go, he kind of fits. Should probably cut the tag off first before I do that, but Eh, he's inside of there. So there we go. There's Donkey Kong. Actually, I'm probably gonna take it out. I want to make this look bigger. Look at him. He stares into your eyes. Next up, we have this, uh, I think this is KK Slider, right? I am probably the dumbest one. Okay, okay, yeah, it's KK Slider. I was about to say. So, I don't know much about Animal Crossing, but I think this is a pretty well-made plushie from what I've seen in the game. I mean, it's a relatively new plushie because it's from New Leaf, so yeah, it's a pretty good one. Next up, we got the oversized Mario. Now, I believe that this is the Mario that Super Mario 134 uses, and the same goes for the Luigi. These things are huge. I I think they're over a foot tall, but I don't remember. This is a medium? How big do these things get? Wait, $28. This is the same price as the Bowser Jr.? Dude, that's nuts. All right, so you got those two. Those two are crazy big. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. Maybe I'll do a video where they get big or something. I have no idea. I think that'd be a pretty fun video, right? And comment down below if you think that'd be a good video where like Mario and Luigi, they like grow huge in size and you know, they're just living a completely different life, living all big. I don't know, it's just an idea. So next up, we got these pipe plushies. These are the warp pipes from Mario, and honestly, I wasn't actually expecting there to be, like, something you can, like, go inside of it. So you can actually put characters in this. Let me just see. You can, like, fit them in there. Thankfully, his tag sticks out, so it looks normal. And then, of course, like I said, we have another one, so there we go. We got two warp pipe plushies. Pretty cool. I honestly forgot that these even existed, so, yeah, they're pretty cool plushies. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with them, but it's good to have, and plus, I think these are pretty old, right? Oh, well, I mean, the tag kind of indicates that it's old because they don't really put those tags on plushies anymore. Nowadays, they use the all-star tag like that. Next up, we got a Another Toad, which was funny. I just used Toad as an example, and now we have another Toad. Like I said, stunt doubles are good to have, so just might as well. Next up, we got Morton. I think there's another Morton somewhere in there, but I don't remember. But here we have a Morton. Now, I don't really use Morton as a character that much, but like I said, it's good to have more characters. What I will say is that this one looks a lot more colorful than my last Morton. I think I can go get him. All right, so the one on the right is the Morton that I've used in videos, and the one on the left is the Morton that I got from the store. And I'm not really sure if you guys can tell, but to me, this one looks a lot more yellow 
than my original Morton. Something I've always noticed about Morton plushies is that the star is always kind of cracked in his face. You know, like like here, he always looks kind of cracked in the face. I don't I don't really know. I don't know what's up with that. I guess it's just the way they make them, but there's always like, you know, little scratches and cuts. But overall, I mean, it seems mostly the same. This one does look a little more stiff than this one. Like I think this one's a little more easily controllable. You know, he's a lot more soft, a lot easier to position properly. And yeah, I mean, this one's pretty good. Like I said, it's mostly going to be a stunt double because personally, I still prefer this one. This one looks a lot lighter and yeah. Next up, we got, uh, I don't know what this is. I think it's from Animal Crossing. Apparently this character is called Fauna and this is from Animal Crossing. I'm not really sure what this character does, but like I said, I mean, I've been trying to get more background characters for the video, so it's good to have. And next up, we have a Goomba, and obviously I'm gonna need a lot of Goombas because in Mario, there's just Goombas everywhere, so I'm gonna have to buy as many Goombas as I possibly can because it's just a really good character to have, just in case, you know? Like, even if you don't use Goombas in your videos, you should still have a lot of Goombas just in case, you know, you wanna do like a Mario-themed video, like a Super Mario Bros. theme. That's more like based around the levels and stuff, you know? I, I think it'd really help. He can fit inside the pipe, right? Goomba in the pipe. What do you do? Can I like fit his whole face in there. What he doing? I can't believe I actually fit that whole thing in there. That's crazy. Oh shoot! I was trying to rip the like the thing off so I could take him out, and he just it came off. Is Goomba stuck in the pipe forever? <clears throat> nope, Goomba's not stuck forever. Good Goomba. Goomba will now live a happy life with his family in the Bahamas. I don't even know what happens in the Bahamas. I just wanted to say that. Next up, we have a Tom Nook plushie. Now, the funny thing is, I don't think I actually had a Tom Nook before, even if I had a lot of Animal Crossing plushies before this trip. Which is funny, because usually, like, one of the first characters you would get is Tom Nook, but... I guess not. I guess I just didn't get him. So here he is, Tom Nook. Not sure what I'm really going to use him for. Like I said, probably just going to be some background characters. Like I said in my last unboxing, I'd have a problem where I would end up like reusing Yoshis and stuff as the background characters. But for now, I'm trying to use characters from other franchises when it comes to background characters. You know, like characters just for one video. You know, characters that aren't supposed to appear again. They're just supposed to be there for that plot. And yeah, I think it's good to have a lot of characters. Next up, we got a Wario. Now I've honestly been needing another Wario for a while because just for some reason, I never had another one. I'm pretty sure I have two while Luigi's, but I never had two Wario's. So now I have two Wario's. The only thing with this one is that you can't really see his eyebrows as much. So I'm going to have to, you know, finick with his hat until you can see them. But outside of that, this thing almost looks better than the one I currently use. I mean, there are some parts of his face that are a little uneven, but yeah, that's fine. I can get over that. Next up we have, I don't know what this is. I'm going to be honest. This is Cyrus from Animal Crossing. Uh, I don't remember why I picked this one up. Like I said, background characters, just like Tom knows. That's what you got to do. You got to buy a bunch of random characters that you don't know because you never know when you're going to need them. That's just how it goes. Next up, we have Ling from Breath of the Wild. Now, I'm really surprised I never had this one because I've always really liked this plushie. I never realized how much detail actually went into this. So you got his Sheikah slate, you got his whole outfit going on, you know, it's just, it's all really cool. You got his shield, you got his sword back there. Everything about this is just so cool and detailed. And honestly, I don't know what I'm going to use this for because I would love to do a Zelda thing, but you know, that'd probably turn into a whole series because Breath of the Wild is so long of a game. I still haven't beaten it. I don't even know how far I am into the game. The game is just so long. Someday though, someday I will beat it. I promise you guys. Maybe I'll do it on my Twitch, who knows. Okay, next up we have a bob -on plushie. Now this one looks really tiny because I swear I have a bigger bob -on plushie. This one's made by Club Moki Moki. It was made in 2019 and yeah, I was actually right. This is definitely a mini plushie. I have a bigger bob -on than this, but you know. Who knows, this could be like a mini bomb or something. Is that a thing, a mini bomb? Tell me in the comments, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Next up we have this Animal Crossing character. Now I already have this kit. Wait, did I even buy this from the store? Uh, I think I did. All right, I'm starting to lose my memory a little bit. I swear I bought that from the store, but I don't remember because I already have this character and there doesn't seem to be any sort of tags. Let me go check. Okay, so I'm back and I swear I have that plushie, but I don't know if I actually got it from the store. So let's just let's just pretend like we did. I don't know. Last in this bag, we have Ludwig. Now I already have it. Oh my God, this one looks really weird. I'm gonna go get my original Ludwig and show you guys the comparison. All right, so I have my original Ludwig on the right and I have the Ludwig I bought from the store on the left. And man, this is a huge difference, isn't it? I mean, I get it. It. All Ludwigs are gonna look really stupid. That's just, just kind of how he is. He's a stupid character. Don't take any offense to that. I'm just saying you you look kind of odd. But man, this one looks really dumb. I mean, first of all, his wand is all droopy. Like I don't even know how to fix this. I forgot. But his face is kind of uneven. Like he's leaning more towards the right side, whereas this one, it's kind of just eh, it's kind of facing towards the left, but not really. I don't know. Maybe bias is speaking for me, but personally, I, I like my original better. So this is a hundred percent gonna be a stunt double. There's no way I'm using this as the main. All right, now we're gonna go into the final bag, which I think has the most 
most stuff in it because I think this is the one with all the mini stuff. So first we have a mini red shell. No, I think I already have one of these somewhere. I don't actually remember though, so it's good to have this. I'm gonna put that with the mini baba. I'm gonna put all the mini ones there. Then I'm gonna reorganize it at the end. Here we have a mini one up mushroom, which is actually really handy because I don't think I had this one, so this is handy. Next up we have a mini Yoshi's egg, which I don't know what I actually use this for. I mean, in my videos, Yoshi usually acts like a person, so just having him lay an egg would almost be completely different from his character. Next up, we have a pink Yoshi, which I'm surprised I never had, but, you know, there's still a couple colored Yoshis that I don't have yet, so... Hopefully soon, I'll finish my Yoshi collection. Yeah, you're going next to Ludwig. Man, I'm starting to kind of run out of space. This is almost like a collection of its own. Next up, we have this little, I think it's like an Explorer Kirby. Uh, I can't read past their little price tag. I have no idea. If you guys know what this is, tell me in the comments. I can't really read the tag. Next up, we have an Iggy Koopa. Now, yet again, this is going to be another one that I'm definitely not replacing because just look at it. They look completely different. Like, my original one looks a lot more smiley, but this one looks a lot more like, it looks like he's kind of droopy, you know? He's kind of sad. I mean, who knows? Maybe he's happy inside, but just, you know, the plushie looks kind of sad. I don't know what it is. I'd have to, like, bend his lips up a little bit, which I haven't done in a while, so I'm not really sure. See, he's already starting to look a little more happy. Then I'd have to, you know, bend his eyes out a little bit. I don't know. There'd have to be a lot that I work with with this plushie. Overall, though, I mean, not too bad. It's just, obviously, you know, I'm not going to replace this with the main. The main one's just too good. It's so good! Next up, we have the Porter plushie from Animal Crossing. See, that's one I actually knew the name of because I've used this one before. I have no idea why I got another one. There's just, there's just not even a reason. He's not even a character I'm going to use often. It's just, you know, it's good to have a collection. Probably said that like 50 times now. And here we have... What is this? Brewster. We have Brewster from Animal Crossing. He looks like a very wise man. Maybe I'll make him like a teacher or a tutor or a coffee shop salesman. I don't know. He looks like a smart guy. Next up, we got a blue toad, which is really funny because I ended up getting a blue toad for Christmas and I just I just forgot. I wasn't actually expecting to get a blue toad for Christmas, so I guess I just have two blue toads now. That's that's messy. It's not good to have a lot of toads. They're gonna drive you crazy. Next up, we have this Koopa plushie, which is completely different from the one that I actually use in my main video. The Koopa I use in my main videos has this little like broken neck thing going on. I don't really know what's wrong with it. Now again, this is another one that I'm not gonna replace just because this one is way too close. Classic. I've been using this one since the start, so, you know, he just, he can't seem to, can't stand up. There we go. Obviously, I'm not gonna replace this one. He's way too classic. He's been here since the start of the channel, so, you know, he's, he's, he's gonna stay. Probably gonna use this Koopa just in case I need something more accurate, you know? Like I said with the Goomba, like if I wanted to, where did I put that? Oh, okay, he's right here. So, like I said, if I needed to do... You're, you're never gonna stand up, are you? If I ever wanted to do like a Super Mario Bros. series where, you know, it's more based around the Nintendo games, then I'd probably use this Koopa. This one's just kinda, kinda messy. And now this one is falling. Nice. Next up, we have a Fire Mario plushie. This one is from the All-Star Collection, and this one is super well made. I really like this one. I do have another Fire Mario plushie, but I'm probably gonna end up using this one. I just think this one looks a lot better than the previous one. So if I wanted to do a video with like, you know, the Fire Flower, you know, it's like Fire Mario, then maybe I'll use this one. This one's pretty cool. Next up, we got this Yellow Yoshi, which again, I think this is one that I actually don't have, which is super surprising because honestly, I really like the color yellow. So that's probably one of the first colors I would get a Yoshi in, but for some reason I don't have it. So. Yeah, here you go. There's another Yoshi to the collection. I don't remember how many other ones I have. Or how many other ones I don't have. And next up, we have a blue Yoshi. Now, I already have a blue Yoshi, but he's an older model. So, it's good to have a newer model of the blue Yoshi. Hoping to get all the colors in both the new and old models. Here's a new model. Next up, I have a shy guy. Now, I already have a shy guy. However, you know, he's a shy guy. He clearly doesn't have that many friends, so... Shy Guy needs another Shy Guy to be friends with, you know? Shy Guys deserve love! I don't know why they don't get love, but they deserve love. This is not his voice, I'm just shaking him in front of the camera. But, Shy Guys deserve love, okay? Show some Shy Guy support in the comments, please! They deserve it! And the last plushie in the collection is another Iggy. Yep, probably a stupid note to end on. Although I will say that this one does kind of look a little better than the last one. At least when it comes to accuracy, I'd probably be better off with this one. So anyways, that was my $1,000 Mario plush haul. I can't believe I actually spent that much money on plushies, but like I said, it's for you guys. You guys are the reason that this is possible. So thank you all so much for liking and supporting my videos. You guys are just, you guys are the best. Never thought I would have been able to do all this, but it's all thanks to you. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more.